To use the S24 Ultra if you are a beginner, first if we look at the bottom of the phone, here is the charging port and then to the right we have the SIM card tray. If you use the SIM ejector tool found in your S24 Ultra, insert the thin ends into that right hand side hole and then push down and then that will eject the SIM card tray and you use your fingernail to take out the tray and insert your SIM card. You then have to the left of the charging port, the S Pen. To eject the S Pen, just click and release the pen, then pull out with your fingernails. The S Pen can be used to navigate your operating system. And if you tap the pen icon here, you have all these quick options and the pen can also be useful if you're on a camera there is a button on the pen and that button can be used to take a picture remotely with the pen I'll put the pen back in and then we have these three buttons on our phone so this middle button is the home button when you tap this your phone will be brought back home to the right is the back button if I'm in an application, I don't want to go home, I want to go to the previous page or menu in that app, tap the back button and it will bring you to the previous page and won't close the app. If the app is on its home page, you tap back and it will bring you home. When you exit out of an app, it actually stays in the background. So this button here is the multitasking button. Tap this button to enter multitasking and if you just flick up with your finger on the app preview, you can close out of applications. From the home screen, if you swipe up, this is where all of your apps are stored and you can swipe across to view all of your apps. And if you do want an app on the home screen, you can just long press an app and then drag it to the top and then drag it where you would like. If we swipe down from the top once, we have our quick toggles and then we have our notifications. To dismiss a notification, just swipe to the left and you can tap on the notification to open the app and view more information. Swipe down from the top one more time and you have all of your quick toggles and you can swipe across to view these quick toggles. You can also adjust your brightness here. Then on the side, we have the side button. Click this once and it will lock and wake your screen. If you long press this, it will activate the voice assistant and you can give it commands. So I'll wake the voice assistant and I'll tap it, set a five minute timer. I'll start your timer and then for minutes. example, it can start a timer like this. You have the volume rockers. So the top one is going up, bottom one is going down. To access the power menu and turn off your phone, you long press both power and volume down. Keep these two held down until you see the power menu and you can tap the power off or tap to restart. To take a screenshot, you just click and release power and volume down and then that will take a screenshot. If you need to ever force restart your phone, maybe the phone freezes or gets a black screen, it's useful to know this. Just long press power and volume down and long press these for around 10 seconds. This will do a force restart. And so after 10 seconds, you can release from both buttons, wait for the Samsung logo, and then any glitches or problems that may occur on your phone will be solved.